Hello YouTubes and welcome to my next Let's Play from Blue Ankylo. As you can probably tell from the title, we are playing Super Metroid for this Super Nintendo. Super. It's all so super. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite old games. Um, I've probably played through this as often as Final Fantasy 1. Like I was saying in my other video, if you watch that. Um, yeah, it's a great game. It probably won't take that long. Um, it's not going to be as long as the other games I've played, I don't think. Um, I'm not going to be trying a speed run or anything special. I might pick up 100% of the items just for fun, but um, you know, I'm sure there's lots of perfect runs, fast as possible type things you can watch uh, as well, and I'm not going to be competing with that sort of thing. I'm just playing it for fun, showing you kind of a uh, how you might go through it if you don't know what you're doing too much sort of deal. Um, that's kind of how I like to play games, you know. I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a t complete perfectionist. I might pick up all the items, but uh, you know, I'm not going to worry about running back and forth a couple times. The game's fun. I like jumping around, fighting enemies, and exploring. The exploring is one of the best parts of these games. So, if all you're worrying about is how many seconds it takes to get from room A to room B, then I don't know. I don't think that's as great. Anyway, that's my idea. So uh, let's get started. I'll try to run through the intro in this first video because it's the intro video. And we gotta change the controller modes a little bit. I don't like um, the dashing, jumping, shooting at the same time always trips me up. Um, so I think this is how I usually do it. We'll see. If, if I'm having troubles I can change it later. Um, but yeah, that's one thing they changed in the Game Boy Advance versions. or like. like sequels I guess. Uh, they made dash automatic. Um, you just keep running and you start dashing eventually. Uh, I kind of like that but um, all of, oh, I think I pressed the wrong button. That's one thing I always do too is press the wrong button. So fail number one. That looks better this time. Did I get it that time? Yeah okay. So press start when you're on the end one. I always mess up a couple things. Oh well. Voice acting in a Super Nintendo game? Amazing! Uh, I don't think I'm going to read this one. I can't. I don't even want to try to pull off Samus's voice. I'm not a chick, but... Uh, if, you, uh, if you don't know the storyline, read along and you'll get the general gist of things. Um, this game is the third in the series, like you've probably saw at the beginning. Um, the first one was for the NES. It didn't have a ton of story, but you did fight this mother brain. Second one was for the Game Boy, the old Game Boy, coming up here, this next section. Both of those are quite good games as well. I played them quite a lot as well when I was a young child. A young, young child, but... <laughs> but um, I actually really like the Game Boy one. I had a lot of fun with that one. Um, that little scene they're talking about is quite cool right here. Um, you've been killing Metroids for ages. You keep shooting them, and then you finally find one that, instead of attacking you outright, follows you. And that was a pretty cool ending, actually. I was really happy with that on a Game Boy. So, uh, once this game came out, Super Metroid, oh boy. This was the coolest thing to a young gamer. So, they uh, kept that Metroid and the scientists started working on it. That's alright. And, uh, so we find out that, uh... Metroids could be useful, that's cool. Before this, Metroids were kind of thought of as a plague, like they were gonna be used, to, or not maybe a plague, but like a, a, a weapon for, for war, because they're fairly indestructible, well, not indestructible, but pretty darn tough, and pretty good at killing people, so. Anyway, now that there might be a use for them, that's cool. We've also mostly eliminated, at this point in the timeline, there's not a lot of Metroids left. Um, <laughs> that was supposed to be the last one, so. Oh, oh dear. The research station is under attack. We better check it out. That's our ship. I can't remember if it has a fancy name. The lore experts probably have one for it. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I just play the games for fun. Alright. So, welcome to our introduction level. You see a little mini-map in the top right. How much life we have in the top left. Uh, I guess I'll just very quickly... I don't think I can even... Yeah, I can't even bring up the uh, menu or nothing. So at this point, just 
you just run around. You can shoot, you can run, and you can jump. Oh, and you can also show you. You can aim down or up or at an angle. Also quite cool, not a whole lot of games had that when this came out. The uh, eight directional firing type stuff. So, that's good. Just trying to get uh, the hang of my controls, because I, uh, I don't know, I have a feeling I probably select different button, button configuration every time. Oh look, there's the Metroid, pick it up. Give it to me. No, nope, can't pick it up. What's going on? Also can't leave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, those in the know, that's Ridley. Our nemesis, pretty much. And he's gonna sort of beat on you. Uh, we'll see if I can beat him. Well, you can't really beat him, per se, but if you dodge his attacks and shoot him enough, you kind of get a different ending. Or not a different ending, sorry. A different f finish to this fight. You can dodge every attack he uses here if you're, you know, if you're smart and good at this game. I don't claim any such thing. I'm decent. We're doing pretty good, though. You can see him changing color as, he does, as you do more damage to him. I think once we get down to 20 or 30, he will leave, so it's... You have a life and he has a life bar, and whoever gets down first ends the battle, basically. Come on, almost got him. Yeah, we, we got him. He almost drops the Metroid because of that. If you uh, don't do as well on that battle, then he just doesn't drop the Metroid like that. Uh-oh. And this is a staple for Metroid games. Emergency... Countdown explosion timers. Yep. This always happens. <laughs> so, uh, this isn't very hard. You've got lots of time to get out. But there'll be a few things stopping you, like those little puffs of smoke that knock you around and all that. Um, I suppose if you wait too long you'll die, but uh, as long as you keep running and jumping a little bit, you should be okay. <laughs> There's um, a lot of ROM hacks for this game that I've played through a few of them, and they uh, are pretty cool. There's like some hard mode versions, and you get like, I don't know, was it like 10 seconds to get out or something? It's crazy. Those ones, if you think you're a pro at Super Metroid, playing some of those ROM hacks though, that'll teach you that you're not that great. <laughs> But anyway, we made it. Woohoo! The scientists didn't make it though. Planet Zebes. Zebes? I think it's Zebes. This was where it started in Metroid 1 for the NES. The space pirates were being troublesome pirates and pirating things, I don't know, being bad. And we were sent to take them out and their Metroids. So, we did destroy them, or at least we thought we did, but. Uh, apparently there's still some left. Ridley's come back and he's stolen the baby Metroid. And I guess we've fallen him here. So, that is all for our introduction to Super Metroid. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this game with me. Have a great day.